Well, this came from uh, Stylebender, posted a video which um, apparently he got misinformation, and he thought I was talking about him, which I clearly wasn't, and, uh, you know, made a comment, and then uh, Dana chimes in on there. So I, I think a lot of you guys are, are, are listening right now. Maybe you haven't listened to the show before. Or maybe you have. And if you've listened to me for a long time, I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to go on here and go um, on some sort of negative rant about Dana White and throw shots at Dana White. I didn't get to this um, whatever whatever you want to say, what lane I'm in. I didn't get here by, by hating on people and, and taking negative shots at people. It's just, it's not what I do. I'll leave that up uh, to everyone else. There's too much negativity in the world. And uh, I'm, I'm not trying to add to that. That being said, um, I, I did not come after him. I did not ask for this. I, dude, I've been retired for how long? It's 2014. I think December, 2014. I, I'm, I'm out of the game, man. So I, I think, you know, and, and I've held my tongue, and I've, I've been pretty nice, I'd say. Pretty nice about Dana when I, I could have taken my shots. Um, you know, if, if he's upset, his issues with me go way far back. We're not getting into that. But, you know, he, he him throwing shots and stuff like that, I, I, I think what stems, it, it stems from, you know, last week after Francis lost his fight, and he's taking shots at Francis. And I said, this is time to rally around Francis. It's not the time to bring a guy down. And I said, I can't understand why he does this to fighters. And he's notoriously done this for years and years and years where he just talks shit about the guys. Yeah. And they're, they're not doing well, man. Those guys just lost the biggest fight of their lives. They're going to have to pay. And they're not feeling good about themselves. And then the boss, who you're looking for any amount of approval, and it will go so far. You're the captain of the ship. When you're shitting on all the employees on the ship, it doesn't make people feel good. When you, when you try to lead by fear, it doesn't work, man. It does not work. That's not the way to do. That's not the way to go about things. That's not what leaders do. That's not what you do. That's not what successful people do. People go, Dana's worth whatever, $400 million. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. To me, that doesn't mean you're successful. You're a leader. That doesn't mean shit to me. There's a lot of working wheels that go into making that deal happen. It's not just him getting it done. No, what he's done with the sport is great. He took that torch, ran with it, got it done, sold the company. It's a major sport now. That's great, man. And, and we should tip our hats to him for that. But if you think that the platform I have, if I'm not going to criticize you for shitting on these fighters, man, yeah. who don't have much financially, they don't have a platform, they have to literally punch other men in the face to make a living. And for you to bring men down like that, men and women down like that, is insane. You're never going to get a free ride here, ever, 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 ever. For as long as I have this microphone in my face, you will always get criticized for that. Always, man. It's not cool. I've, cause I, and the thing is, I've been in those guys' shoes, man. I've been in that exact same scenario where you're, you're working your ass off to fight another man in a cage, and you're looking for some sort of approval from the head guy who controls your destiny. Who controls what matchups you get? Who controls how much publicity you get? Who controls now what sponsors you get? Who controls how much success you're going to have? And you're looking for any inch of approval. If you walk by that man in the hallway and he goes, great job tonight, it goes so far. So why be mean about it? Why be a bully? Why be a bully this day and age? Why continue to shit on people? You've won, man. You've won. You're a CEO of a billion-dollar company, and you're trying to talk shit to somebody who retired four years ago on social media. What are you doing? What are we doing? Imagine somebody else, head of a corporation, they'd lose their job. Talk shit to people like that. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? It makes no sense. It makes zero sense. And what you should be doing... If that hit a nerve when I said you should celebrate, Francis, this is not a time to bring that guy down. Your ego's too big, but you should check yourself and go, God, I probably should do something else, man. Name one person, name one fighter. I challenge any of you guys. Name one fighter who's been close to Dana that's never had an issue. Name one. There's a reason. There's a reason after I launched that, that tweet, that Instagram comment, there's a reason why I had 
I mean, tons of fighters reach out to me. Tons of UFC employees reach out to me. Tons of employees from Reebok reach out to me. Former fighters, media members. Why do you think that is? Because they're all, they, everyone's thinking this. Because you motivate by fear. That's not a way to run a business. That's not the way to do things. This is 2018. You just can't do that. Why do you think all those people re- are reaching out to me? Why do you think this gets so many likes? Why do you think it's the topic of all this stuff? Because you're a dick. And no one can say anything. Because they're scared to lose their job. I'm not. I need nothing from you. I need no approval. I don't need a promotion. I don't work for you. I do none of that. I tell you the truth. You're a dick. You're a dick, man. You've made it. You're at the top of the, the mountain shouting. But don't shout negativity. What are you doing? The world's too hard enough, man. It's a dark world out there. It's a dark, negative world. I will never stand for it, ever. A wise man once told me, sometimes you got to punch that bully right in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you do, man. Yeah, you do. You just, you can't run a business like that. And everyone's sick of it. I've been pretty cool this whole time. I've been pretty, I think I've been pretty fucking cool, man. I could have went off on tangents so many times. It doesn't make sense. You bully guys. You cause guys to lose their job. Eric Hawani with the Showtime thing. What are you doing? How petty can you get? You go on the Instagram comments, talk shit. How petty can you get? You think that makes you look smart? Smart people don't do that. People who are people who are comfortable with themselves and don't have ego issues don't do that. People who have made it don't do that. People who are comfortable in their skin don't do that. That's your problem, brother. It's it, it's just your problem. That's it, man. And if anything, for you to come after a guy like me, this is what I do, first of all. For you to come after a guy like me is insane. You should be celebrating, man. You should be celebrating. Because I can guarantee you, I promise you, there are fighters in the UFC right now who are looking at what I'm doing post-career going, holy shit, man. And, let me, and you, got, you fighters listening, let me tell you something. If I can do it, you sure as fuck can do it. There's a lot smarter, more talented people than me out there in this world who fought in the UFC and are fighting the UFC. Get out of the mindset that all you have to do is stay in fighting or anything like that. I promise you guys, you can do this if I can do it. I promise you guys. So instead of shitting on a guy like me, you should be pointing, hey, look, after fighting, you guys might be able to do something like that. There might be something like that out there. And I promise you, there's guys sitting in the UFC right now going, damn, man. I wish I could do it. I, you guys can do it. But there's this mentality. There's this fighter's mentality where you, where you think that's all you have is fighting. And I'm here to tell you, it's not true. But of course, Dana's going to shit on you guys and, and constantly drive this home. This, 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 this. That's, it's not the way it works, man. We should be celebrating each other. In every other sport, in most other sports, there's a alumni, there's people who have made the same walk as you, and they've moved on with their careers, and they've gone on to do better things. And it's a network, and we all help each other out. There's certain towns I come into for comedy, and there's guys who I played football with. There's guys who played football before me from the University of Colorado. They had set me up with hotels, recommendations, anything. We take care of each other. It's a fraternity. It's alumni. The UFC, it's a, it should be the same thing. But for whatever reason, it's a, it's a crab-like world. Everyone's pulling each other down, trying to get to the top, trying to get to that next Conor McGregor level. Everyone wants that Conor McGregor status. There's a bunch of crabs, 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 crabs. And then the biggest fat fucking lobsters at the top, Dana White, pushing you guys down. And for what? The world's negative as it is, man. The world's too negative for this. And after all that, after all that, I still have no hate in my heart. I have zero hate towards Dana White. If he called me up right now and went, hey, man, let's stop this shit. Let's do this. Cool, man. I have zero animosity. I don't have time for hate. I don't have time to continue to fucking come after you on social media. I don't have to. You asked for this. That tweet I wrote on a plane, it took me three minutes to knock that out. It took me three minutes. I didn't ask for this. I don't want this. I don't need this negativity. I'm too busy. We both made it, man. Everything's all good. 
You know what my biggest problem is now? Not getting punched in the face. Not hustling. Not worry about being a world-class fighter. My biggest problem is what shoe am I going to wear today? Hopefully my set goes well tomorrow at the comedy store. And how, how am I going to help my son get better every day? Those are my biggest problems. What's yours? So why the hate, man? There should be none of that. It's all good. There's no time for this. Like I said, even in all that, I do. I have zero ill will towards that, man. Zero. There's none here, man. I don't hate any fighter on this planet. Any fighter, if I could help in any way, hit me up, man. I got you. This show will not be a show where we just belittle Dana and the UFC. That's not what I do. That's not what I stand for. It will never be that. I still love the UFC. I have no ill will, Ill will towards Dana. There's too much. There's too much to do. Anytime you have that hate, it, it's anytime you have that. And this is for you, Dana. Anytime you hold those grudges and that negativity, it's just a deflection. It's just taking you away from what you're trying to do. And I don't know what you're trying to achieve now. I'm not sure what you're trying to achieve. You're wasting your time, though, throwing shade, throwing heat towards me. I'm telling you, man, you're wasting your goddamn time. There's no way to go about things.